Yeah, so I started out as a teacher. Um, I worked at Uncommon Schools as a charter school in the city, had a great experience there. And then I was fortunate enough to have a, um, a teaching position in the Soda Central School District for four years. Um, it was awesome working there. I, I served in many capacities. I was a coach. Um, I was a teacher. Uh, I was an official for some of their games. I even drove the buses. I was a bus driver for a certain time. So that was awesome. And then um, I was fortunate enough to get my first administrative uh, position in the Spencerport Central School District. And just an incredible experience. I worked with a great team of people, um, administrators, staff, students, families. It was just an incredible community there. And I'm so incredibly thankful for those stops that I had before I come here. And, you know, I've stayed in touch with a lot of the people that I worked with in SOTUS and in Spencerport. And I wish everyone in those communities uh, a great school year, some great memories ahead, um, just incredible people. And they're really a testament to the hard work that's done in education. Um, and then I was able to join the Leroy School District earlier this year in uh, April and May, that transitional period. And it was just so exciting to join this community. I have had so many people that have been so welcoming. Um, the students, the staff, the family members, the community members. Um, it has truly been everything that I, I've heard about Leroy and then some. And the school district is just um, lives up to that reputation. It's, it's a beautiful place. Uh, students are phenomenal. It, and it's just been so friendly, welcoming, and the hard work and dedication I see from everyone in this school is just so admirable. And, and I can't say how excited we are to be starting this year. One of the things that I, I look at as my vision for a school is we're looking at um, the academic development of students, but also those not so much direct academic supports, the supports for social emotional learning. Um, one of the things that we're looking at this year, we've partnered with Genesee Community College, the Pathway to Success program. That's going to be a free resource for our students and um, our families to access. Essentially, it helps prepare students for post graduation planning, whether that's college or career. Um, so that's a great partnership that we were able to have fostered there, and that's going to support our students as well as they work with our uh, Student Success Center. Uh, as it relates to the academic piece, we're looking strongly at developing literacy connections in our classrooms. So I'm going to be working with our team of teachers and our administrators to look at different ways to incorporate literacy into the lessons, even more so than they already are. And the other piece that I'd add to that is we're looking at our uh, MTSS model, which is multi-tiered system of supports. And one of the things that we are looking at as we transition to that model is not just that pure academic support that students may need intervention with, but also those social emotional pieces. We spoke a moment ago about the impact that the pandemic had on students and families, and I think that one of the things we can't lose sight of is when students might be having difficult time in classes, it might not always be uh, a result of their ability to learn. It might be other factors that are impacting that. And so one of the things that's, that's really effective about the MTSS model is the fact that it doesn't look at academic support in isolation. It's more of an encompassing piece. So we're looking at all the different things we're doing for students in the essentially non-direct academic field and all the things that we're doing in that academic field and then really trying to create that culture of positivity, right? And we're really excited about all the things that, are, like I said, our new athletic director, assistant principal is going to be coming in bringing and um, we're going to be hitting the ground running and our theme this year is to build the foundation. Um, we have new administration here. We have a fresh start post-pandemic. This is going to be the year where we really build that foundation for the future here at Leroy.